One of the complicating issues with using a CoLab notebook to upload data files is that the actual thing that happens when you try to mount your Google Drive varies sometimes depending on the previous history of that notebook. So here we see a notebook that I have already previously mounted a Google Drive for. If I go over here and click on the um, icon here, I can see that the drive that it has remembered that the drive was already mounted. In other circumstances, if the session has stopped running, it may ask me to remount the drive. Another situation we'll see here is I have essentially the same notebook, but I uploaded it under a different file name. When I click on the file folder here, it is giving me a message saying connecting to a run time. So right now, I, uh, <clears throat> the drive is not automatically mounted. If I click on the mount drive button, now I get a message essentially asking me to run a code cell that will mount the drive. So if I click on this code cell and run it, then I get this uh, dialog that asks me to go to another browser tab in order to carry out an OAuth authorization to let Google access um, that particular um, Google Drive file stream. Once I do that, then it shows me a code that I can copy and go back into my script, paste in the authorization code and hit enter. Once I do that, then uh, it takes a little bit of time, but the Google Drive then ends up being mounted. And after a short amount of time, it will then show up in the um, file listing over here on the left side. Now, if I want to see where the mounted uh, Google Drive is, I can open up content and then drive. And now I've found my Google Drive. And I can see, for example, the data folder that has my file in it. So if I go ahead and run the import statement, I don't need to rerun this cell because I've already mounted the drive. But now I can tell it to read the data file and show me the first five lines. And there they are.